I'm here again with Extreme Chef Peter Wright. Welcome back, Peter. How are you going, Fred? Great. Now, Pete, today we're going to talk about nighttime nutrition. Nighttime nutrition, and that's my favourite. It's one of the most important meals next to breakfast, Peter. So, Fred, we're talking about nighttime. What do we mean? A, a dinner meal or a bedtime meal? Probably a late supper meal. It'd be something you'd have about half an hour just before bedtime. So what's bedtime for you, Freddie? Well, for me, it's about 10 o'clock at night. So around about 9, 9.30, I'm ready for my nighttime nutrition meal. So a proper meal at 9.30 just before bed? Yeah, well, the fact is, Pete, you build muscle when you're rested. So it's very, very important. Sorry, say that again. You so, build muscle when you're rested. Don't yeah. you build muscle when you're working out? No, you don't actually, Pete. Your muscle tissues... Ah, so that's what I'm doing wrong. Yes, you need to rest and you need to rest well. And it's very, very important that you do rest well. So you need to take sleep really seriously. And it may be the anabolic primer you, that you've been missing out on. So sleep's a very important part of the whole growth process, Pete. So Fred, what are the sort of things I should be eating at my nighttime snack? Well, the main idea, Pete, is you need to be eating relatively light. Again, if you're wanting to build up, you can eat a really good nutrient dense meal, high in quality carbs and high in protein. So what, a grilled steak or something like that? Yeah, a nice grilled steak with a nice abundance amount of salad and vegetables would be really great. But Pete, some people have trouble um, having a steak. So here we've got a really fast and convenient option, which is the Max's Nighttime Protein. It's got what's called a sustained release formula. So it will actually last through the whole night and it's got great calming herbs and it's got glutamine and it works on repair and recovery and it's fast and it's really convenient. Now Pete, if you're not one of those people who like to have something savoury in the evening, this is a nice, quick and convenient way to have some real good quality protein readily absorbed. And just before bed? About half an hour before bedtime I would recommend you take it. So we've whipped up here a three egg omelette, a couple of minutes, some baby spinach, but also I've got some fresh natural yoghurt and I've just mixed some of the nighttime protein in there instead of a drink, you know, I've got something yep. nice to eat and very quick and easy just before bed. Now one egg's about six grams of protein, so you've got about 24 grams of protein there. So Pete, what we did is we asked our Max's athletes and what they thought about nighttime nutrition. Unfortunately, I am a bit of a night owl, um, so I find it hard to go to bed early, which means I'm up a bit late. So my bedtime will be about 11 o'clock. Because I have to get up quite early in the mornings, I'm often in bed by 9pm. 9, 9 I find as soon as my kids go to bed, I'm forever racing around the house trying to do the things that I would do in my business and around the house and pre preparing. So I, I do stay up a, a little later. Right before bed, I'll usually have a nighttime shake, which is normally about 8 o'clock. Um, so about half an hour or an hour before I'm off to bed, I have that shake. The concept is that it can be eight hours overnight when you've, you're in a fasted state. You haven't had any protein for a long time. So you can actually start eating into hard-earned muscle. And the reason for taking a slow-release protein shake like Max's Nighttime Before Bed is that you're supplying your body with the amino acids to repair muscle tissue slowly from the slowly digesting protein to stop going into a catabolic state. Because I am a shift worker, um, with the fire brigade. Sleeping patterns can be a bit all over the place. So there's two little things I like to do. One is I like to finish the day with a red meat meal because uh, red meat's a very slow digesting protein. So it sort of covers me. So if, I, uh, if I'm at the fire station on a night shift and we are sleeping, that uh, if we do get a call at night that I've had something in my belly. And then what I do is I make up my Max's nighttime shake. I leave it in the laundry because I'm drinking all the time. I make you know, two or three trips to the bathroom through the night, and just on one of those, I'll just scull my shake and then just go back to sleep, don't even wake up. I'll have my Max's nighttime shake sometime throughout the night. If I'm sleeping during the day, I try to keep whole fi uh, foods. I just keep the nighttime shake around the day. Even if I do sleep during the day, it's only for a few hours, even after a busy night shift. So it's generally only at night that I have the, my red meat, and then I'll make my Max's nighttime shake and I'll have that sometime throughout the night. Well, a few different things there, Pete. Some of the Max's athletes don't like to have a big meal just before bedtime, and that's where the Max's nighttime ticks all the boxes. Well, that's great, Fred, and I'd agree with that. But what we've got here is a nice light meal, but with lots of uh, goodness and things to digest through the night. This is looking towards people like yourself that want to build up. So I need to eat a lot of salad just before bed to build up. Yeah, a lot of good quality proteins, carbs and fibre. So that's, yeah, that'll put your muscle on, providing that you've trained and you've trained really hard. Trained really hard. So I'm going to whip up one of my favourite salads. 
Iceberg lettuce, very, very nice and nutritious. And you hear that? Very, very crisp. It hasn't got a really strong flavour, like rockets, a bit peppery, um, endives and things are a little bit bitter. So you don't want something bitter and, and peppery before bed. So yeah, it's nice and crisp and neutral and it'll take on all the ingredients. So I've got a whole lot of other ingredients here. Now I've noticed they're nearly all green. I've got no tomatoes or anything like that, but I do have some beetroot, avocado, broccoli, some sprouts, some nuts. Now. I've got some toasted bread croutons here. We want to build up a little bit of muscle as well, so don't be afraid to have something like a bit of croutons as well. Well, Fred, it's important that we have a mixture of textures, so I've got some crunch, some, some uh, crisp, and now I'm going to put some avocado in. Pete, when we buy avocados, what should we actually look for? Well, you look for no blemishes on the outside, so a nice even colour, and uh, just give it a little squeeze. Mm -hmm. So it should be a bit like my abs, really tight, not too soft, okay? And both I just That's make, very funny, Pete. <laughs> make a few <laughs> incisions into the avocado. Okay. So you can see how easy that was. And that'll give you your soft texture. Your croutons will give you your, uh, your, your crunchy texture. Yep. And your uh, cucumbers will give you your crisp texture. Now, the other thing is I've got some mixed beans and sprouts and things. So, you know, that's optional. Look, but again, Pete, I love that when I'm digestion. actually building up. It's a great live food as well. Really good in proteins and really good for you. So, Fred, I'm going to serve my portion now and I'm going to wrap this up, put it in the fridge for tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is put the sardines on it now. I don't want to mix through. And yeah, if that I'm going makes to, sense. And if I'm going to put any dressing on, I'm going to put it on now as well. I would actually put my sardines, obviously, just before I was to eat it and portion it out and put it in containers. So that looks great. A nice salad with a little bit of difference to it. Nice texture, good amounts of oils and protein in it as well and you've done well, Pete. Something that we really like to eat. Well, that's it for our nighttime nutrition segment. Pete, as you agree, it'd be very important just to get that meal half an hour before bedtime. Good luck with your training. Thanks, Hope you Freddy. go well. And that's it for now, and we'll catch you next time.